Let me do better prompts this time, guys. <laughs> Are we doing one more round or two more rounds? Let's no do idea. one more one more round for right now. Assistant Ray gave me a medium. You know, rocks for yours. I was legitimately AFK. Oh. One of mine. I specifically hope Tim gets. Really nice work. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I know which one you're talking about, Cat, and I'm really tempted to pick Better it. Pick it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do Aww, it. you didn't even get to be my assistant. No, I'm sorry. You got this, Danny. Thank you, Danny. All right, Danny, Cat? you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. You picked my prompt. Hello, my name is Danny, and my talk is Life's Too Short to Spend It Being Sad. <laughs> Here, I, I have two dogs, and they're just playing with each other because they have nothing better to do, okay? Oh, did I mention they fucked? before when you hear this next part i apologize in advance for making you weep i decided i'm gonna cut that shit off they don't need to be doing that so since they be fucking like that i'm just like nah we we over this shit so that makes me happy so i'm not gonna be sad are you confused? Let me put it simply. Oh my gentle Jesus, what the fuck is that? That's the gentle from me cutting the dick off from my two dogs, okay? And I'm weirdly very happy about that. Because I didn't want my dogs fucking anymore. Thank you for my pet dog. What the to your question, that last photo is a photo of a leech. I know. No, I, I was, was talking to um, rocks. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I had to make it work. Oh my God, the All right. Chaos, help me out here. Got you, got you. All right, oh, let's start. My prompt. Uh, what is good, all my dudes out there? It's your boy, Roxel, and welcome to my talk on... Ignore the critics, they're totally wrong about the size of my dick. You see, I used to be so depressed about the size of my dick. When I was really little, I thought that, like, I would never be accepted by anyone. Look at me. I'm just here burying my face into the mat that I am laying on because I am too busy crying about my micro penis. I mean, I'm not even kidding. It is so small, it makes bugs dicks look- Oh shit, what the fuck have I done? Oh no, I just exited out of the game. Oh no. Well, let's see here. But the opposite is also true. I have to keep on talking because I accidentally clicked out of the game, but I will make sure to keep you engaged, my lovely audience. Look at this centipede. This is a an exact representation of my dick. It's skinny, but it's nice and long and covered in legs. It will make you scream. I am not even kidding. I lay that shit on a table and it will hang over the edge like I don't even know, like a wet noodle. And like they say, everything is straight until you get it wet, just like spaghetti. All right. We have to keep on talking to make sure that everything works. I can sum this up by showing you this. No, it is not my penis. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that because it goes against YouTube's terms of service. Look at this. The Industrial Revolution caused so many problems for the world, but it did cause some very nice effects towards me. It allowed me to get the penile enlargement surgery that I have needed since I was very little, and now I am hung like a trench coat. I'm not even kidding, it is insanely large. I could basically lean on it like a tripod at this point. It is a third leg. My dick is that big. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And no, I will not be making an OnlyFans. You lost me at not making an OnlyFans. <laughs> me forgetting to vote again. Was that your prompts, cat? It was, it was. I was very happy about it. <laughs> 
Yeah. When I heard you say that, I was just like, I, I know exactly what it is. All right, Sizzle, let's do it again. You got the Dodeca Dildo Award and the Pussy Power Award. You are in a very, very strong position. I know, let's get this shit started, guys. Oh no, I'm worried. What's up, my name is Sizzle, and my talk is about true story. I found home in a colony of girls and the gays. This is where I found the home. You see that man in the hat over there? He's not just a guy, he's also gay. And that girl, guess what? She's gay too, cause we're all gay. Why is this happening though? It's because I decided to go on a different path. So instead of going the old way, yeah, we're gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna go the new way, yep. Because it is better. This next part of my speech will change your life forever. These, you might just see factory things, but me as a gay woman, I see boobs with very perky nipples. And everyone loves boobies. Thank you. I've never spam something more in my life. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when you said boobs, I was just like, fuck yes, fuck yes, repeatedly. <laughs> was just that like, your point? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I was hoping you would oh, say. Yes. Boobs with very perky nipples. I really hope you like my um, comment. All right, oh, Andy God. Cat, let's Ooh. see. The Ooh, no. <laughs> award. You just keep cutting out for me whenever you do that. You Honestly. will see it whenever I send it, or I could just send it to you. Anyway. Hello, my name is Andy Cat, and we are going to take a very different turn from the last speech. Today, my talk is about Heartbreak 101, an introductionary for, or an introduction for ordinary people. You see, heartbreak is one of the worst things you can go through. Medically speaking, you can actually die from heartbreak, and some people have. It makes you want, want to go insane. You may want to kill yourself, you know, if you want to take that route. Let me spell it out for you normals. <laughs> People, the faces they give you are completely fake. You never know what's really going on underneath, and they probably won't tell you about it because people are fake. What can I, what can I an ordinary person, do to help you out? Balloons. They fit everything. I can hear the negative comments, but it is okay. <laughs> Just remember, um, balloons, they're just about as real as people, so you can pop them and kill them just like that. Thank you. <laughs> that was beautiful, that was cat. Great. I tried. I'm gonna cry. You can hear the, like, how people are reacting. So I could hear every time somebody pressed down and then up. I know, it's so scary. I've been just ignoring that completely, because, like, yeah. Also, Sizzle, I meant to click the happy face, but I don't know if I did, because my phone went off for a second, so I'm sorry if it's not the green face. What to be the red face? <laughs> <laughs> Please not, you did amazing. <laughs> Alright, we got give chaos. Something good. The Shithead <laughs> Award shit recipient, award. Chaos, and Denny. Do something similar to last ago. Yeah, do something similar to last okay. night where I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> Hello, my name is the Chaotic Cat, and my talk is about what happened after I screamed F you at my boss. Obviously, it didn't last much longer after that. I literally screamed at my boss, go screw yourself, screw your husband, screw your kids, and your cow. I don't give a crap. Your kid, he sells drugs. It's fine. I don't give a crap. He can go screw his little girlfriend, his little drug addict girlfriend. I don't care. And screw you too. Obviously, I didn't last very long after that. But here's a few things I could have said instead to possibly have kept my job even though me want to kill myself all the time, but that's fine. I could have literally just become a cyborg and blown her up. 
that would have been much more effective. Because number one, she'd be dead. Number two, I don't have to see my freaking husband anymore who kept trying to make advances on me. Screw you, you're a neckbeard. I also don't have to hear about the son anymore. He was a total piece of crap with a meth head girlfriend. I don't care about him. Just killing her and blowing her up would have done a lot better job. I'm just saying, F you. Would have been more effective. Of course, this all had a major effect on my career, obviously. I am now shunned by my family who doesn't care about me anymore because I decided to finally speak my feelings. Screw you, Karen. I never wanted to marry you anyways. No, oh, Timmy, I know he's not mine. I know you cheated on me, Karen. I know he's not my kid. Who is the real father? Is it John, my brother? I need an answer. Everything's falling apart. It's all because of you, Karen. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> this go off. <laughs> that was my crawl. Oh my god. That was beautiful. I loved it. There that was, was one similar to the robot, and I was like, no, I'm gonna be like, you're embarrassed. <laughs> I find it hilarious that I'm like always your assistant. <laughs> All the Epic high five! We okay, we have life's too short to be cut the dick off, writes in notes. I don't want my dogs to fuck anymore. Homosexuality among dogs should be accepted, you monster. Just hangs over the table. Make me scream, huh? Def should make an OnlyFans. <laughs> I do it for the girls and the gays, that's it. Boobies! Ah, yes. Titties. Mood. Pop them like balloons. Talk talking about murder saved that speech. <laughs> Sis, go off! Oh, fuck Karen! Not literally, the one bad pussy. Fuck you, Karen. I enjoy speeches about murder. And now, the moment of truth. And now, for the awards oh, ceremony. Disconnected. What's the code? Okay. The Sad Talk Award goes to... Cat. The Modern Art Award goes to Sizzle. The What the Fuck Was That Award goes to Rock Salt. The Micro Slash Big Dick Award goes to Rock Salt. And the Big Black <laughs> Award goes to Rock Salt. <laughs> I never won an award this whole game. <laughs> Only because of awards. Yeah, I, I went from last hard. to first all because of awards. I absolutely love this game until it's my turn to talk. Oh, man. <laughs> hey. I've already pissed off my whole family by screaming multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> my family hates me. I feel that.